Hello and welcome to our video series on Smart FTP. Now in this video, we're going to be showing you how to transfer your files. Now remember, as you're watching this video, you can always use the pause and rewind buttons below the screen to watch and rewatch this video until you have this task mastered. So let's get right to it. Now of course, the first thing we need to do is to open up your Smart FTP software. So now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and connect to our remote browser. So let's go on up to the Favorites button on our toolbar, click on Favorites, click on Quick Connect, and then click on the site that we want to connect to. There we are. Now that's connecting us to our server. Now to select multiple files, click on one file, press and hold your Shift key down while you select the other files you want to upload. Then just click on the arrow icon to transfer from your local browser to your remote browser. And usually it's going to be the arrow pointing in the direction you want the files to go in. Oh, and as a safety precaution, if you have the same name file on your remote browser, Smart FTP is going to ask you if you want to overwrite that file before it just actually does it on its own. Now, downloading the file is the same process. Select your file from your remote browser, click on the proper arrow, usually it's going to be the one pointing in the direction you want your file to go in and this will take it from your remote browser to your local browser there simple now to edit how you would like to upload the files click on the transfer menu now generally auto transfer is is the best one to use but if you have some files that require a certain method like CGI or encrypted files then you can change that here whether it be ASCII or binary, but usually if you just leave it at auto, that's the best way. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video.